All right, here we're going to be looking at the specifics of the tRNA molecule, T standing for transfer. Um, you should be able to understand from the previous video where we looked at uh, these tRNA molecules bringing in the amino acids. They have to bring in the amino acids, and uh, obviously amino acids attach to one side, and there's an anticodon down here that's going to match the codon. Remember, the anticodon is only found on the tRNA molecule. So here's a close-up look. Uh, same thing, up here at the top, we've got to have uh, an amino acid attached, and down here will be the anticodon. So this is very, very specific, but maybe you need to know it. Uh, the structure, I, I just think of this, when I think of a tRNA molecule, the T reminds me of transfer, so it's helping to bring an amino acid, and I kind of squint my eyes and try to think that it looks like a T over here. But these are the most insignificant parts. This is just the general shape. It is actually RNA. This is quite interesting. This is a strand of RNA, which, remember, RNA is different from DNA for several reasons, but one of it is because it is RNA is single-stranded. But this single strand of RNA is actually folding on itself and actually forming some hydrogen bonds, uh, causing some double-strand interactions here. So this is RNA folding in such a way that it kind of starts to resemble uh, DNA, but it's totally not DNA, but it's folded and it has this special shape. So over here, loop of seven nucleotides, over here, loop of eight nucleotides, you'll never, what, you'll never guess what this little guy is called. Extra loop, okay, not exciting at all. Uh, anticodon loop, this loop down here obviously contains the anticodon, and there's the anticodon, which would be three letters three letters that are matching with the codon found on the mRNA molecule. Um, I mentioned this, double-stranded sections linked by base pairing. And then up here, this is a, an important detail. Remember, five prime, three prime, everything seems to matter for five prime and three prime for you geeks out there. The very last three bases up here at the top where the amino acid will attach are always C, C, and A. And so you can think C, C, A, three prime end, that's where the amino acid is actually going to attach. And uh, this is very important right here because the anticodon that exists here will never change. And the anticodon that is here will always determine which codon it will bind to on the mRNA molecule, which will always determine what the amino acid will be that is up here. So in other words, if you are a specific tRNA molecule, you will always be delivering the exact same amino acid. And when you drop off that amino acid and go to get recharged to get another amino acid, you're only ever going to be picking up the exact same amino acid because your identity is set in stone by this anticodon right here. One final detail, which is a little bit annoying, but uh, it's necessary to know. In order to get recharged after I've dropped off my amino acid, I need to go out and find that same amino acid. But unlucky for me as a tRNA molecule, I can't just go figure this out myself. I need to recruit. I need somebody else to help me. And there's another type of enzyme called a tRNA activating enzyme. And this tRNA activating enzyme is also specific to me and my identity with my anticodon because I have a specific three-dimensional shape and enzymes have a specific three-dimensional shape with their active sites. So I am actually looking for, or a tRNA activating enzyme is looking for me in these random collisions. If it happens to match my shape, it will match with me and help to mate me and join me with the correct amino acid for my recharging process. So it has a lot to do with specific three-dimensional shapes and fitting things together, but more importantly, to understand that this tRNA molecule with whatever three letters are here, if it's A, U, C, for example, that will determine which amino acid out of the 20 that exist will always bind to me. So down here, you can take a look really quickly. Uh, the common features above allow all tRNA molecules to bind to the binding sites on ribosomes and mRNA. There are some variable uh, structures, for example, the anticodon here, um, which will help to determine the exact shape. That's how the specific tRNA activating enzyme can recognize this particular thing. The tRNA activating enzyme is specific to a specific tRNA molecule, and it will help to bring the amino acid up here. And 
finally, ATP is necessary for the actual process. So I think take, take a look, read through this carefully on your own, but go back. Uh, these parts right here are relatively insignificant, but know the big point here, which is that the specific shape, the specific anticodon will mean the same amino acid always gets attached here. And when, after it gets dropped off, after visiting the ribosome, we can attach another one, but we're going to need the help. We're going to need the help of a, another molecule called the tRNA activating enzyme and that molecule. So I guess you could say there are many different types of tRNA activating enzymes, each one specific to the anticodon on a particular tRNA molecule. All right. If you have any questions, please do let me know in whatever form possible. Have a fantastic day and go get TRNA activated.